What's going on, pop lovers and collectors? I'm back. It's been quite a while. I've been busy doing other things, getting stuff together, and uh, I'm working full time now, so it makes it harder to do these videos, but not too bad. I gotta say, if you're here, if you're watching, thanks for joining in. I'm gonna be doing this on the regular, at least once a week, giving you an update on what's going on. Today, though, I have an epic GameStop here in Canada is having a crazy sale. What is the sale? 25% off all Funko Pops, which is stacked with the GameStop Edge card. The GameStop Edge card is a card, is a loyalty card here in Canada where you get 10% off uh, all loot-based items. Anything that's non... Uh, also games. You get 10% off used games and off uh, ex certain accessories and things like that. So, and that was double edge. So that 10% becomes 20% and it stacks with the 25%. So I picked up two, five, 12 pops for 120 Canadian. Incredible, basically 10 bucks each and they are not ancient ones. They are brand new pops that just came out. And I don't even know where to start because I had two. If you, if you looked at the thumbnail, I had two bags full of, full of it. And we're going to do an unboxing. So, well, whatever you want to call it. We are, I am showcasing these Funkos. And we are going to start with the Batman 80th Anniversary. Is it the 85th anniversary? So that ought to be epic. We'll start with Poison Ivy. I was going to do the rotations. Okay. Poison Ivy. Beautiful pop. I love this new style of box that they're using for this series. You know, it stands out. It's, I've seen all the original Batman movies. I saw them all in the theater. So, she's beautiful. I'm just gonna move these aside. Let's see how she looks like out of the box. Oh. Just like Uma Thurman, who played Poison Ivy. That. Very, very cute. Very, very cute. Although that was a corny movie. Uh, back then, bat nipples and everything like that. That was, <laughs> that was pretty sad. So that's Poison Ivy. By the way, all I got today were villains. I already had the Joker. I had uh, Batman. No, that's not true. That's not true. I got other. Uh, don't listen to me right now, okay? But listen to this. Catwoman. What was her name? Not the original Catwoman. The original Catwoman was Eartha Kitt. But this was... Oh, man, her name's escaping me. What was her name? I keep, Meryl Streep keeps coming, like, the name, but I know who Meryl Streep is. She's, she's, oh, God. She was so hot as Catwoman. Look at that beaut. She's got some sort of tool. Nope. It's a taser. Sharon Stone. Sharon Stone's her name. Thank God. It was going to be awkward doing the, the episode if I couldn't remember her name because I'd be thinking about what the hell is her name. So that's Catwoman. That's two of 12. Two and 12 pops that I got. Next. We'll keep it going with the ladies. I got Vicky Vale. Oh, 
Kim Basinger. What an epic movie, man. I didn't realize, but I don't know if you can see it here. I'm going to have to try to take it back because there's... There's... Well, you can't really see it, eh? There's a dent right here. But... Beautiful. Beautiful. And she was wonderful in the movie. I saw, I saw the original Batman movie the day it came out here in Montreal at uh, Fairview Cinema. Me and my friend Yanko, we got there early. And this is one of the old school, well, obviously it's it's like 35 years ago, you know, uh, yeah. It was epic, that theater was filled. Here she is, what's she holding? Oh, she's holding the gas mask. Jack Nicholson was amazing as the Joker. Uh, amazing. Everyone was amazing in that movie because it was it was one of those things where where they laughed at Michael Keaton because he had just done comedies and stuff like that. You know, who's he's going to play an action movie? Huh? That's what people were thinking. Next, we've got the Penguin, Danny DeVito's character. Which he did a really good job. This pop, out of all of them, it's up there. My Joker one is my favorite, of course. But this is amazing. Like, really, really amazing. But I got my favorite pop that I picked up at the end so make sure you stay and see this epic sized pop now this is just fantastic right out the box right out the box look at the colors look at the details all the little stuffed animals or whatever i can't i gotta watch the movie again it's been so long but uh yeah he's epic danny devito played him played him to a t and it was really good. One of my favorite Danny DeVito roles. I'm glad you're here. I gotta say, I'm glad you're here. I hope you'll, if it's your first time, I hope you'll hit the subscribe button. Hit, send me a like too. Uh, one thing that's going on that's weird lately is, um, YouTube hasn't been putting out my videos. Well, they, they've been putting them out. They haven't been promoting them at all. Like, starting in June, it just stopped. It just stopped. And I haven't really been getting subscribers. Got a couple here and there since then. But this summer, maybe I got 15. And I was doing, like, 150 a month up to May. It, it's just very weird. Uh, my videos aren't getting the views. You know, I put out two pops a day, three different videos, three different styles, and they're just not once in a blue moon they get they get hit and uh, they explode, but nothing like it used to be. I don't know the algorithm. I think wants me on the screen more often, so here I am, and here's the Riddler. Beautiful, beautiful, epic pop. Just amazing. Jim Carrey. But a corny movie. Batman Forever, corny movie. They, they, very corny, very corny. Very slapstick, you know? Not too serious. Like George Clooney with the, the, the bat nipples was, was overkill. I don't know what they were thinking in the, the Visa card. Sorry, I'm still here. I'm just trying to organize them. Sorry, sorry. I didn't know I was out of frame. I'm just trying to organize them because I got to do all my shorts later. The links to my shorts will be down below. Okay, it's Jim Carrey and the Riddler. Yeah. The staff. Not too 
many Jim Carrey pops out there, are there? They did Ace Ventura. Now this, I can't think of any others. God darn it. Jim Carrey was funny. He still is funny, but he's not really doing anything lately. So, he's kind of stepped away from Hollywood from what I heard. The last villain I got, Bane. Although this Bane was kind of goofy and corny. Tom Hardy's Bane was my favorite. Yeah, he was amazing. That's Bane. And here he is. Holding a picture of Bruce Wayne, I gather. Kind of looks like the Tom Hardy one. But not. Well, wait, what is this? It doesn't make sense. This is the Dark Knight Rises. Holy cow, I didn't realize. I didn't think they did the Dark Knight. Yes, they did, because... Oh, shit. Part of my language. This is... Bane. From The Dark Knight Rises. I thought they were just doing the, the 90s movies, but no. That's epic. That is epic. Because now, Batman Begins. Batman, Funko exclusive. Fear gas. When Scarecrow hits him with the gas. Or hits, who, who does he spray the gas on? I don't know, I might be getting it confused with the games, but here he is. Fear gas, Batman. He's really, really cool. The scowl, I don't know if you can see it. He's got some sort of gas creeping up underneath him. All you really see of color is his belt. The ears look dope, There's, and just that mean look. There's the back. You see the gas sort of fading up. There's also a bit of you know, staining and stuff. Fantastic, fantastic. This was a great haul, man. And like I said, 120 for everything. Canadian. Next. For my NFL football collection, Travis Kelsey in a white jersey. Three-time Super Bowl champion. Let's see what he looks like. And let's see what I have out of the back. Okay. Christian McCaffrey I have. Patrick Han. Hassan Reddick. I don't know if I have Hassan Reddick. Anyway, he's going to be gone. Uh, I think, no, it wasn't him. Aaron Rodgers I have. Amon Ra, St. Brown I have. Geno Smith I have. CD Lamb I don't. But the Funko store for Canada has opened. They're now shipping to Canada. So he's on there. I'll probably pick him up. One day. I love these action poses. Look at that. Any Swifties out there? Wow, that's going to be an epic wedding if they ever get married. But I think they're promoting Taylor Swift too much. It makes it seem like it's kind of a setup. I don't know. I don't hate. You know, I don't know why I'm putting it back on the box. I always leave them out to do the videos after. Next, we go to the new 
set of WWE figures. We've got The Miz with Money in the Bank briefcase. The Money in the Bank Miz. Gotta love him. There he is. He's got his belt on. He's got that, hello, my name is awesome. I remember when he was on Fear Factor with Joe Rogan. Hit the break. Oh, shit. Hit the prevent. Rogan from killing somebody. <laughs> and here he is. I'd like to get his other one. I really liked his other one, but yeah, I just can never seem to find it. Holding his belt. His belt looks... Oh, no, it looks okay. That's the Miz. We're close to getting to the end, everyone. We're close to getting to the end. Next. We have Hollywood Hogan. Hulk Hogan. Oh, Wolfpack. Wolfpack. Anybody watching the McMahon series right now on Netflix? It's pretty interesting. A little embarrassing for Hogan. Let's check him out. Classic Hogan from WCW, man. Look at that. What's that say? NWO. It's painted, spray painted uh, championship belt, bandana, the arms, just everything. It's classic. Dark beard under his yellow. Fan flipping plastic. I have, I have a few. I got the NWO. Three pack. I got Hogan Walmart exclusive. I got another Hogan where he's just flexing. Pretty good, pretty good. But the next guy I got, he's a legend. And this is his first time. Diamond Dallas Page. Incredible. One of my favorite, he's doing some great things now with his DDP yoga. He's helping a lot of people. Jake the Snake, Scott Hall went to him before he passed. You can see a lot of uh, his shorts. Fun fact about him, he actually sued Rockefeller Records, which Jay-Z, that's Jay-Z's company, and with Dame Dash. And uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, he sued them because his diamond cutter, he puts it up in the head like this, that's copyrighted. And Jay-Z used it on, I think, the Black album or something like that. Fake, I don't know, whatever. Whatever, but there he is. Doing the pose. And he got paid. Unbelievable. I love this guy. He was a great, great wrestler. Started started late, though. Started really late. Okay. This one is D Hero's pop that he wanted to add to the show. Uh, D Hero is a son of mine. He's an influencer. And he does some episodes with me. If you haven't seen him, go back to the old ones. You'll see them like last year. His favorite anime right now is this, Chainsaw Man. I don't know nothing about it, but the pop looks super cool. Super, super flipping cool. There's nothing wrong with this pop. Let's crack it open. needs a base. They have a base for him. Really, he must be... No. 
I was looking for the chase of him, but a little on the hard side to find. I don't know anything about this, but to me, at first when I saw this, it looked, oh, it's, it's okay, now I see his whole head is a chainsaw. I didn't realize that. But he looked to me a little bit like a mimic from Dark Souls or Dungeons and Dragons. You know, so. Uh, how's this go? Can't seem to figure out how to put them back in the box. But there we go. I figured it out. Oh, I figured it out. Now, the one that I am extremely happy I picked up, and the one that I'm probably going to take out of the box, from the movie The Conjuring 2, we got the Crooked Man. Ah, he looks so super cool. No, I keep saying cool, but... That's what I grew up with, man. Something like this is fucking cool. Part of my language. Wow. Look at him. He is just a beaut. A beaut, I tell you. He's carrying that little light thing, spinny light thing. The glasses are on point. The umbrella, everything about this one screams screams amazing amazing and that's all i got so that's all of that for just a little over 120 dollars i had a blast it was like a kid in a candy store hope you enjoyed this episode if you did don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Turn on your notifications. Follow me on Twitter at Lonster the Monster, no E's. Or on Instagram, Lonster underscore the underscore monster. Same with TikTok, Lonster the Monster. I'm there all the time. I post everything. You can connect with me there. Ask me questions. Ask me to look at things. Anything you want. But I want some help from you guys, if I can, to help Check out my daily views to get them shown. We were we were on our way to 2,000 and are stuck around 1,500. So, hope to see you soon. Hope you enjoyed this episode of what I got. Don't forget to watch the shorts that'll be out. And uh, keep hunting, keep collecting, keep having fun, and I'll see you again.